detection is everything. It's about prevention. You're preaching to the choir when it comes to early detection. I know that a lot of people I love would be here today if their cancers had been detected early. What made you want to be a part of this whole enterprise? Before I joined Exact Sciences, I had three friends uh, that I grew up with in Flint, all diagnosed with colon cancer, all in their 40s. And it was a shock to me. And then I met Dave Alquist from the Mayo Clinic. Let's talk about Cologuard. Why did he think developing a stool test was so critically important? Colon cancer is the number two cancer killer. And so that's where he said, look, we should screen people in the privacy of their own home. His dream was to say, we can diagnose cancer by examining, looking for the DNA in that stool sample. Half of the six million plus people who have had a, a Cologuard test have never been screened previously. Do you remember when the FDA approved this as a screening tool for early stage colon cancer? I'll never forget. <laughs> FDA has a panel meeting and they bring 10 of the world's experts in the subject matter in uh, colon cancer screening to, and, and we presented our data to those experts. And there's a vote on three different uh, subjects, safety, efficacy, etc. And the vote came back 10 all in favor of approving colon And that was the day that we knew that we would get FDA approval and that we could start to try to change outcomes. Can you help people understand why early detection is so critically important in so many cancers? If somebody is diagnosed with an early stage colon cancer, a cancer may be tiny and it's on the inside lining of the colon. It hasn't spread anywhere. So surgery alone, taking out a small piece of the colon, stitching it back together. Or removing the cancerous polyp during a colonoscopy or during a procedure. Yes. That is the end of the treatment. There isn't anybody who is not at risk for colon cancer. Unfortunately, most cancers are diagnosed late. There is about a one in 10 survival rate. Removing that precancerous polyp may mean the difference between life or death 10 years from now. Let's talk about Thrive and this blood test that you all are developing. Tell me about the potential for this test. The idea that you could impact cancer by detecting it early through a blood test that would lead to a follow-up procedure to identify that cancer that maybe could be resolved with surgery alone or a limited application of chemotherapy. How many cancers in general do you think that this blood draw will be able to indicate? It's probably going to be multiple dozens of different types of cancer. We were in exercise class one day and one of the women came in and she said, hey, there's this study and they're gonna do a blood test. Would anybody be interested? I got a phone call. I had a PET scan done and they told me that it showed cancer for my ovaries. My cancer was detected in the first stage, first to second stage, they told me. So I feel very fortunate. Right now you're working on a blood test that will detect liver cancer. Yes. Before there was a blood test, how would you know if you had liver cancer? At least with liver cancer, there is routine surveillance recommended for certain patients. So patients that have cirrhosis, for instance, so a damaged liver may that patient at risk for liver cancer. So the liver cancer test we developed, um, yes, is a blood-based test. What those patients had to do to surveil whether they would progress to liver cancer would be going in for an imaging visit every six months. It can be difficult to get to those appointments and scheduling. So the fact that we were able to develop a easy blood-based test makes that surveillance of these high-risk individuals easier. We see a day where people are screened with a simple blood draw for many cancers, and they're screened every two or three years, 
It's shifting the curve from late stage detection to early stage detection, and that surgery alone can cure cancers. That dream is closer to reality than I think any of us fully appreciate.